Hey y'all, this video will be about forgiveness. Mainly I will read the verses on forgiveness. If you forgive others their sins, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, neither will your Heavenly Father forgive your sins. I've always taken that verse very seriously. Because it's literally saying that you can't go to heaven unless you forgive anybody and everyone for every single thing that they've ever done to you. And that's definitely not easy. What does it mean to forgive? I think mainly it means you're not going to want revenge. You're not going to want to hurt them for what they did or what they said. You're just going to let it go. Forgive and forget. Right? That's the goal. Time heals all wounds. Um, eventually you'll forget about what they did or said, hopefully. Although I will say there's definitely some things that you'll never forget. You know, like every single day I think about how my dad sexually molested me and it bothers me. <laughs> and that happened to me like 24 years ago? No, 34 years ago. And I still think about it every day. Does that mean that I want revenge? Not necessarily, but it still hurts. Anyways. So, does that mean that I haven't forgiven him? I don't know. I don't know. I don't necessarily wish ill of him. You know. I wish him well. I hope he has a great life. For the most part. But I don't really ever want to see him again. But then it's sad that I lost my dad. You know. <sighs> okay. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you. Along with all malice. Be kind to one another, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Amen. God forgave you, so you should forgive everybody else. Because, why not? <laughs> Even if it's not easy. Whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father who is in heaven may forgive you your sins. Dun, dun, dun. Pay attention to yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him. Correct him. Tell him that he sinned. If, um, if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in the day and turns to you seven times saying, I repent, you must forgive him. That's good. <clears throat> Bear with one another. And if one has a complaint against another, forgive each other as the Lord has forgiven you. Amen. <clears throat> Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Yeah. Forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Hmm. God says to us, I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. One verse says that God has removed our sins as far as the east is from the west, and he will remember them no more. Praise God. And that is why we should find it not too difficult to forgive other people because God has forgiven us for so much. And it helps to like stay humble, you know remember how much God has forgiven you for and then that makes it easier to forgive other people. Remember that you're not perfect so you can forgive their imperfections. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Yeah, this is an interesting passage. John 20. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. That's how people got the idea of priests in Catholic churches forgiving people of their sins, was this verse. So he's literally saying, does this apply to us? I don't know. But he said to his disciples, If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you withhold forgiveness, it is withheld. That's interesting. 
Very interesting. Hmm. So, if you want people that you know to go to heaven, forgive them of their sins. Yeah, it does seem interesting, though, because most people think that only God can forgive people, but apparently, apparently Christians can forgive people. I don't know. It's hard to explain exactly what that means. Or was that just the disciples? I don't know. Leviticus 19, you shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against the sons of your own people. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Don't bear a grudge. Uh, Jesus on the cross said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Hmm. And you can say that about anybody who's ever hurt you, right? Follow Jesus' example and say that. God, forgive them, for they know not what they do. They don't know how much they're hurting you, most likely, when they do hurt you. Ah, uh, this is a good verse, Isaiah 1. Come now, God says, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are like red like crimson, they shall be like wool. Ooh, white like wool. Whoever covers an offense seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates close friends. Yeah, there's that expression. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Because you should learn. <laughs> you should learn who you can trust and who you can't. It's tricky. Yeah, like, does forgiveness mean that you rebuild a friendship with that person? It doesn't always mean that. I consider myself to have forgiven my dad, but I'm not going to be friends with him again. Ever. And I promised myself that, like, 20 years ago. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old... Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the deserts. Yeah. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Oh, I always thought that verse was interesting. So, I guess the idea by that verse is that some people hurt us because they want us to hurt them back. Maybe, like, they want attention in that way. But Jesus says, no, bless them, give them food, treat them well, and maybe they'll hate you even more for it because they're not getting the revenge that they were craving. I don't know why anybody would want that, but <laughs> I guess some people want you to try and get revenge because maybe they think it's funny. But, no, God says, treat them well. Don't try and get revenge. So, remember that. Remember to forgive anybody that hurts you and follow Jesus' example. Father, forgive them for they know not what they're doing or they don't mean to do what they're doing. Hopefully. God loves you all. God bless. Bye.